All right, boys, let's see what we got. Well, at least we got something. Ah, I'm gonna have to put you down. <laughs> this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Love you both. I'm so sorry. I always love you. <laughs> Did you catch any fish? No, but I caught this turtle, named him Terrence, then killed him and hollowed him out into an ashtray for Stewie. Peter, we have a family to feed. Oh, I tell you, fellas, if I don't find some fish out there soon, my family's gonna go hungry. If it's fish you want, Pelican's Reef is where you'll find them. Geez, where is this Pelican's Reef? Thar. No man has ever returned. Pelican's Reef, huh? Then that's where I'll go. Because I'm not afraid of a challenge. Like that time I outfarted Michael Moore. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'll be back in a week. Brian, look after the family. Aye, aye. Chris, don't pick your bum. No promises. Be careful. This Pelican's Reef sounds dangerous. That's why I built you a widow's walk, Lois. So you can watch the sea until I return. Boy, I really appreciate you guys helping me out on this. Peter, we're your friends. We're always there for you in your time of need. I never had sex with Cleveland's wife. I never did a chick in a Logan Airport bathroom. I never picked up an illegal alien at Home Depot to take home and choke me while I touched myself. Oh, come on! Hey, let's ride on him. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? Bass fish everywhere. In local news, we have more on the approach of Hurricane RuPaul, which is working his or her way up the coast. A hurricane? Oh my God, Peter's out there. Don't worry, Lois. Peter's good at getting out of trouble. That's a hell of a catch, Peter. Guys, this is great. Not only will I be able to put food on the table and pay all my bills, I'll also be able to finance my Christmas album. Uh, hey, could I have one of those? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm here because of that. It's lucky you packed so many blow-up dolls, quack, 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 Maya. You're eating something. Give me that! You've been eating my legs! Yeah, see, now this is why I didn't say anything. I knew you were gonna get like this. We gather today to remember those brave Quahog men who were lost at sea. I just can't believe he's gone. Uh, don't worry, Lois. We'll get through this. Daddy, I'm gonna miss you. Ah, uh, screw you, fish! Uh. I miss you so much. Blind or a midget? Oh, that's easy. Blind. It heightens your other senses to near superhero levels. Okay, all right, here's another one. Black or crippled? We've been out here for months, and we all know that men have certain needs. We're gonna have to have an orgy. Boy, I'm sure glad nobody's here to see this. And if you look off the left side of the ship... Peter? Daddy! Dad! What's your name again? I want to say Alan. Oh, it's so good to see you guys. I got remarried. What? Well, it was a very difficult time, and he was there for us. Honey, I'm home. You, you married Brian? Peter, remember, we thought you were dead. I needed help, and Brian was there. Fine, fine. I can see I'm not wanted here. Maybe I'll just find my own place. Oh, Peter, I just feel terrible about this. Come on. Jeez, enough with that already. You're like a dog with a bone. I'll be in the basement. Doing what? What do you think? Oh, guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Lois is the only woman for me. Well, then it sounds like you've gotta find a way to win her back. I can do that. I'm a smart guy. I once built that time machine out of a DeLorean. <laughs> wow. Everybody in 1955 was on fire. Oh, did I forget my clothes? Oh, you know, I'd leave my ass behind if it wasn't so perfectly attached to my sternum. Do you have a magnet in your head? What? You must, because it's attracting my buns of steel. Peter, knock it off. You knock it off. You're the one with the magnet. I smell whipped cream. Are you making strawberry shortcake? Ah! 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 Hey, Griffin, your sails are in the toilet. You got problems at home? No. What, what would make you say that? <laughs> it's 10.30 at night, and you have a saddle. Well, it's, uh, I, um... <laughs> hey, you want this, huh? You want the ball? Yes, I would like to have it very you much. You want it, huh? You want the ball? Yeah, yeah, I would enjoy having it, yes. Give it to me. Go get it! I say, are you blind or just stupid? What do you mean? Perhaps you'd like to see what Lois and the fat man have been up to in your absence. All right, here it is. <laughs> oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. How could they do this to me? You know, I will always love you, but I made a commitment to Brian. I can never repay him for what he's done for this family. 
Oh, Brian, you're still up. Lois, listen, uh, I... We, we, we need to talk. I, I just don't think it's working out. Oh, my God, no way. I just don't think you're the right woman for me. Oh, bitch, you got jacked, bitch. Well, thank God everything's back to normal, eh? I'll say. And to think, Brian, I was like a day away from having sex with you. I'll be in the basement. Doing what? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Used dirt bike will be awarded to the one customer who can successfully outlast his competitors. So I'm going to win that thing. Peter, why would you want to use dirt bike when you already have a car? In just a minute, we'll begin our hands on the hard body contest. Everyone who wants to win this dirt bike, come on up and put a hand on it. Yeah. I had to win it for myself just so I could destroy it in front of you. Eh, guess you're out, Mr. Peter Schmidt. Well, I already paid for that thing, so I'm just gonna stick around and smash other stuff you like. <laughs> I just sent you a picture of a kitten in sunglasses. Well, this I gotta see. And we have a winner! Hey, where's Peter? I don't know. I haven't heard from him since he left work. <laughs> Hope you made extra. Peter, she has to leave. We're having dinner. No, Lois. I will not allow you to look down on Amber. Amber, would you like to have some dinner with our family? Can't. I got a wicked bruise on the back of my throat. <laughs> Come on, Meg. Just get on. <sighs> I'm gonna jump that fire hydrant. Chris, don't! You're gonna wreck Dad's bike! You idiot! Look at what you did! So, you like taking dirt bikes that don't belong to you, huh? Then here, have a whole carton of cigarettes! W what? Kids, I'm sorry to say this, but I think the two of you need to be punished. Look, it was an accident, okay? You know, it's very difficult being a parent. No, it's not. You get to do anything you want. Oh, you think so, huh? Well, maybe you'd like to try it for a little while. You'll be the adults. Seriously? Yeah, that'd be awesome! That sounds great! That's a great idea, Lois. Crisscross. Here's your breakfast, Lois. Thank you, Mom. Do you mind if I go shopping with Jennifer after school? You're not switching genders. Ah. Griffin, did you finish those reports I gave you? Right here, Angela. Wow. I don't know what the kids are complaining about. This ain't so bad. Show me your school spirit! Can you imagine the disaster she's gonna walk out here with? She has no idea how hot it is to cook. Here it is, gang. Seared ahi tostadas, grilled asparagus, couscous. Mm. What, what about all the housework? I did it in like an hour. It was actually really great. And Angela even told me I might get a raise for doing such a good job. Well, hello, you two. How's your little experiment going? <laughs> Horrible. I got pegged by a new form of spitball. <laughs> Kids, we're calling off the experiment early. What? Why? Because you were right. Lois goes back to groceries. I go back to my job. You don't have a job anymore. Angela fired you and hired me. Chris, you are not taking Peter's job. You're a 14-year-old boy and you belong in school. I like being a grown-up and I want to stay this way. Well, it may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist. Is this the man who assaulted you? But they're never going to take you back. Early night, Griffin? Did you finish all the accounts payable and the accounts receivable? You know it would be great if I could come home and have five minutes before you jump all over my back! You know what? Never mind! Now I'm mad at you! You wanna keep it down in here? One of us has to work in the morning! Why do you guys hate me? Ugh, that pain in my stomach is back! What are you looking at? I can fight you both! You don't know what I go through every day. I'm gonna need a check for the dentist. I bet if I go upstairs to that bathroom, that toothbrush is as dry as a bone. Cost $10 for lunch and the bus. $10? Maybe we could ask to borrow some from Mr. Quagmire. Like to see me walk next door, hat in hand, and ask him for money. Let's just go right now and tell everyone how much of a failure I am! But I... <laughs> Chris is having a heart attack! We're not supposed to leave the table! All right, well, nothing to worry about. Chris is going to be just fine. 
Oh, it's all our fault. We never should have let you take on the pressure of being an adult. It's okay, Mom. Life is a terrible thing. Yeah, but if you got your family to help you get through it, it's not quite as bad. Hey, is that ham? I thought you put that back. Oh, um, no, I put the other ham back. Oh. Hey. You playing a little dress up? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, that was such a rush. I'm alive! You know, she bought me something yesterday, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to guess. D just cl close your eyes. Uh, Brian, what are you doing here? God, you're right, Brian. I'm out of control, but I don't know what to do. I'm just hooked on the rush of shoplifting. I... Police are still looking for the culprit who stole a valuable Matisse painting from the Quahog Museum of Art. A Matisse painting... All right, now, is that everything you stole? Yeah, that's everything. You know, you really should talk to a therapist about this. Uh, you know, Lois, we're just lucky we got this under control before the police caught onto you. Hold it right there, Lois. You're under arrest. Oh, crap. Well, Mrs. Griffin, considering this is your first offense, I've decided to go lenient and... Where the hell is my gavel? <laughs> All right, three years it is. Three years in prison? Oh, my God, what have I done? I'm Lois. I'm Fisty. That's Stabby and that's Balls. Pull up a chair, we're playing cards. Well, are those biblical names? Yeah, Fisty is. You gonna eat that? The mustard on your shoulder? No. Oh, oh, and we gotta see those pandas. Peter, this isn't a zoo, it's a prison. Wagmire, what are you doing here? You know I love doing a woman in the can. Oh! So good to see all of you. How is everything at home? Oh, it's horrible, Lois. I've had to do all the things that you usually do. And the other night I had to do, uh... Well, you know, that thing that you usually do for me every Thursday night. I, I guess I was stealing because I was so sick of the same old routine. I felt like I had a void in my life. I think I got an idea of how to smuggle you out. Bye-bye. Take care now. Have a nice day. <laughs> Hurry! We'll hide in that van! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm a dog, all right? I have a very tough time standing up in the car. Well, then we're fugitives. Peter, we're in Asian town. We have to find a place to live. Yes, and we should do nothing to draw attention to ourselves as outsiders. Oh my god, it's Jackie Chan! Oh my god, it's Ethan Hawke! Mom, can we go get some food? Oh my god, there's Malcolm in Middle! I'm not a boy! Yes, you are! Come on, kids, we've been through worse. Well, we'll all have to get jobs, but I'm sure we'll each find something we can do. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. Replace him! Ah! Faster! Damn it, Swanson, I want them found. Mayor West, we have every available man looking for the Griffins. We just don't have any leads. Boy, you put on weight, Jackie Chan. Yeah! Oh, my God. Did you walk? Chris, I'm hungry. It's your turn to keep watch for the cops. Wait a minute. A am I the only one who thinks this is nuts? We've given up our whole lives. Hey, Mom, Mr. Swanson's here to visit us. What? We lost him. There they are. Oh, what the hell are you doing? It's wet down there, Brian. Jeez, this sucks worse than that time I did cocaine with Carl Malden. Do it, Peter. What are you talking about? Look at us. We're running through a sewer, and it's because of me. Uh, uh, I can't hang on! 
Pretend I'm your child, Lois. Not Meg, not Meg! Oh, it was so nice of Joe to work things out with that judge. Yeah, but I'm sure gonna miss my buddies down at the sumo ring. Count of three, you try to push me out of the ring, I try to push you out of the ring. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Chris, where have you been? I don't know!